when you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air. Um, yeah, you feel a bit boycotted. Do I feel boycotted now? No, not at all. Um, but I don't feel boycotted by Hollywood because I don't think about it. I don't think about Hollywood. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't have much further need for Hollywood myself. I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but yeah, I think uh, it's a very strange, funny time where everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't. Well, Johnny Depp has brushed off concerns with Hollywood standards. The iconic actor was partaking in a media conference at the Cannes Film Festival to promote his new French film, Jean de Barry. This was the first film the 59-year-old has been in since his incredibly high-profile trial ended last year, vindicating the actor from some serious allegations made by his ex-wife. A reporter asked Mr Depp if he felt boycotted by Hollywood after a very public trial with ex-wife Amber Heard. While Johnny Depp won the defamation trial last year, he did lose work and a lot of time due to the allegations of domestic violence made by Ms Heard. Depp was asked to step down from his role in Fantastic Beasts, which is the Harry Potter spin-off franchise. Did I feel boycotted by Hollywood? You'd have to not have a pulse to feel like, no, none of this is happening. It's a weird joke. When you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a function of vowels and consonants floating in the air, yes, you feel boycotted. Johnny Depp went on to discuss what you'd probably label cancel culture and the standards of the entertainment industry. I don't feel boycotted by Hollywood because I don't think about Hollywood. I don't have much further need for Hollywood myself. It's a strange, funny time where everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't. They must fall in line with the person in front of them. If you want to live that life, I wish you the best. Even though the jury in the trial sided with Johnny Depp, which resulted in Amber Heard paying him $10 million in damages, there has been backlash over the actor's appearance at Cannes. Before the actual festival, supporters of Amber Heard launched an online campaign called Can You Not? to criticise the festival and Johnny Depp for celebrating abusers. Pierce Morgan and the panel weighed in on both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in their post-trial lives and whether there are double standards. This has now come out of the courts and is now in the hands of the Hollywood studios. Johnny Depp has been on this incredibly well-managed rehabilitation mm. arc since last year. He went on tour with Jeff Beck, was mobbed everywhere he went. Dior just gave him a $20 million contract, he, the highest ever for a man with a fragrance. He's right? co-producing a movie with Al Pacino. This is a really important step on his road to rehabilitation, opening the Cannes Film Festival. If it was Amber Heard who hadn't lost her L'Oreal contract, I would accept that, that we were celebrating the art, not the person. If Amber Heard wasn't hounded by 4.5 million people to sign a contract so that she didn't get to partake in the Aquaman 2 role. But we're not celebrating the art. We clearly are celebrating the person.